Good morning, grade 5. How are you all today? Today, let us continue with the Indus Valley Civilization. So, we will be talking about life of people of the Harappan and the Indus Valley Civilization. Now, the two parts of the city uh, were divided. The city was divided into actually two parts. Okay, the upper and the lower. Okay, the Sitaril was the upper part and the Lower town, Sitaril was the upper part and then there was a lower town, okay. Uh, we all know that in the Sitaril, that in the Sitaril, there was a temple, there were temples and there were the king's palaces. The king lived there, <coughs> okay. Now, uh, which city of the Harappan civilization uh, had three parts? There was a city of the Harappan civilization which had three parts. That was Dholavarya, which was at Dholavarya. Okay, now where is the Sitadel located? The Sitadel was located to the west, on the west, built on a raised hill. Sitadel was always built on a raised hill, sort of a Okay, now uh, what was the great bath? This is something that we are going to talk about today. Now, Harappan civilization had a distinct organization in town planning. Now, in Harappan civilization, the town planning was very, very distinct or very, very proper. Many of the cities were divided into two parts. We've already talked about the city was divided into two parts, the citadel and the lower town. Okay, the citadel was usually located on the west, on the high ground above the rest of the city. If the rest of the city was like this, then citadel was located a little in a, like this. Okay, now here it's a hill and here the citadel was located, something like this. Below the city, towards the east of the city lay a lower down. Now here the entire lower down laid okay the streets ran straight and cut each other at straight right angles now one very important feature of the uh, harappan civilization was that the cities were straight and they cut each other uh, okay at right angles okay okay just just imagine this was the road formation sort of Okay, it's cutting each other now. You're coming like this. Okay, now the street streets ran and uh, the ra streets ran straight and cut each other at the right angle. Can you see they're cutting each other at the right angle? Okay, so much of uh, um, oh. development in the art and art architecture. Okay, what is a right angle? This is a right angle. Okay, now. Uh, this angle was actually a right angle that was 90 degrees. Okay, the streets ran straight and cut each other at the right angle. Now let's talk about the Great Bath. What was the Great Bath? The Great Bath is a striking feature of the Indus Valley Civilization discovered at Mohenjo-daro. Where was the Great Bath discovered? The Great Bath was discovered at Mohenjo-daro. Okay, it was a rectangular water tank probably used for bathing. Now, Great Bath, Great Bath was a rectangular water tank, okay. It was basically like this and it was used for bathing, okay. The floor of the tank was made up of baked bricks. Now, the floor was made up of baked bricks, the bricks that had been baked. The tank had stairs along the side of the room. Now, there were stairs, okay, so that the people could get into the tank, Okay, now it's more of a modern day swimming pool. But are you saying that the people at that point also uh, had swimming pools and they were, you know, they used to, they didn't call the swimming pool as the swimming pool, but they called it as the great bath. Now, the side rooms, uh, the, have you understood about the great bath? Yes. Okay, the side rooms were probably used for changing. The historians believe that the water from the well was channelized and used in the tank. Okay, now there were rooms to the side of the great bath, and these were basically the changing rooms. 
that the historians think obviously what all what other what the use will the rooms be okay now very important feature was granaries granaries were unearthed by archaeologists both in harappa and in mohenjodaro the largest granary has been found in mohenjodaro in harappa about 6 granaries have been found granaries were located around the rivers river banks and were used to store surplus grains um of the people uh, of the indus valley the metal and pottery factories were also developed okay and discovered next to the granaries of harappa now when near to the granaries of harappa what is to be found the metals and factories and these factories were of pottery so obviously they used to store the things the grains here okay and then they used to uh, they, there was a factory of pots okay and the, this these pots were utilized out here right now life of people of the harappan valley civilization besides farming people of the indus valley civilization were also expert in various kinds of occupation when we already understood pottery making okay uh, carving writing on seals and building houses different crops and fruits such as wheat barley millets pomegranates what is the uh, and how what is pomegranate known in hindi anar yes Uh, and bananas were easily grown along the indus valley indus river they used various tools such as wooden plow axes saw and spears uh, for cultivating crops the people of the harappan civilization also domesticated animals such as dogs buffaloes sheep and goats objects excavated from different site tellers that harappan people had made great progress in the field of fine arts they carved out beautiful sculptures from the soft rocks or brown rocks the terracotta figure of a woman referred to as mother goddess is unheard as mohenjodaro discovery of many artifacts of the indus valley civilization revealed bronze was extensively used by these people now what was very extensively used by these people bronze okay how do you know the artifacts are made up of bronze okay now various stone and terracotta toys have been discovered in many cities that means these people used to play with toys also they also use different kinds of ornaments such as bracelets necklaces look like beautiful uh, women used to wear beautiful ornaments even men used to wear ornaments evidence found during the period has proved that people were skilled in weaving clothes several seals of different shapes have been discovered from the indus valley seals were flat rectangular objects made up of stone so what were seals they were made up of stone they were flat rectangular objects okay they had a carving of whatever okay maybe the king or maybe and these seals were used in giving seals were probably used as stamps for trading purposes some seals were also used as ornaments as am- amulets okay they practiced a healthy trade trade relationship with other civilizations such as mesopotamian and egyptian civilization now in the sali civilization they uh, 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 they had very good uh, um, trade relationship with mesopotamian civilization and with egyptian civilization okay now the people of the indus valley civilization worshiped natural objects such as people trees and bulls they also believed in life after death so they believed that after you die you will be there is another life now decline of indus valley in the civilization what was the reason for decline of the indus civilization around 1900 bc maybe the river we used to flow like this maybe the river changed its course totally okay maybe so obviously this flow the here settlements is not possible okay maybe this was the reason flooding in some areas or maybe this can also be that there the river used to be flowing like this and it flooded the entire area the people that were living here they died okay okay 
people of the Harappan civilization had to face many aggressions of the Aryan or maybe there were people who attacked these people. Okay, there were Aryans who attacked these people. Okay, um, which led to the decline of the Indus Valley civilization. So today we've talked about the Indus Valley civilization in detail. We've talked about the citadel, we've talked about the town planning. Okay, the towns were planned at 90 degrees. Okay, the streets intersected at 90 degrees. We talked about the great bath. Okay, we've talked about the granaries. We've talked about bonds being used. We've talked about the ornaments that the beautiful ladies wore. wore. Okay, I want you to do a little more research about the Indus Valley Civilization. And we've talked about the decline of Indus Valley Civilization also. Take care children, happy learning, but do research on this topic. Thank you.